I know personally. So the point of doing this scene is interesting. We already know what it What was the scene just about again? There, um, something's odd about her baby. Last I remember, we were interrogating a bunch of people about what was going on about missing mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Back on track. <clears throat> I have been this. I have a dark past. Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow along with you guys because I had to out the last time, so I'm not really sure what happened. Alright, so, I mean, this isn't good. You guys can go visit the seamstress. Or head north into Skyraker Forest. Didn't we just want to go into Skyraker Forest? I think we First were going to skip her for some reason. We found most of our information from all the other people we asked. Yeah. Alright, so consensus going north? I believe so. Sounds good. Okay. Hey, hey. So, you guys head north into Skyraker Forest. And it's. Uh, oh, everybody has a long rest, by the way. Yeah, they, uh, everybody rested at the end of last session. So, you head north into Skyraker Forest. It's only about an hour or so from town, and the trees are tall. There's not really much snow hitting the ground, and about an hour or so after you enter the forest, you start to see a small trail, and it winds down into the forest. And after some time, you start to hear a couple of voices. Who's there? I'd like to make a perception check and try to see where it's coming from. It's coming from further down the trail. It's a bit of a curve, so you can't really see around the curve okay we are gonna say slow down and approach cautiously can we make out what we're saying I'll, I'll, I'll agree okay somebody want to approach ahead of everybody else or um, I will. You gonna stealth or you just gonna like check it out? Oh, you know I'm stealthy. <laughs> I'll be behind him, I guess. I'm going to. I guess I'll lead the rear. I'll be in the rear. Okay. Okay. Vint is a stealthy. Be careful. I step on a twig and kind of slam out of it. No, if you step on a whoopee cushion, it just goes. I'll hold the back with Baka. Mm hmm. And then it goes to the cross and goes clink, and you're like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> just, that's just not gonna work. Alright, so Ventus, as you get up ahead, you see two ogres in the road. They're standing in a path. Are they just standing there or are they, does it look like they're guarding? 
Uh, yeah, they're not really moving. They're kind of talking to each other. And uh, we have to get past them in order to continue? Yep. Okay. Hey guys, I can... I can minor illusion a voice saying, Hey sexy ogres, come this way in the opposite direction. And then we can make a break for it. Uh, pass them as they go, uh, go follow the voice. Because I can make it make a voice appear 30 feet away. Okay, sure. Work them off the side, and we can get past them. We can try that. Fall those fails. We could just kill them. We we can take these little worms out. I just rather avoid using my resources. Same. They're not worth my resources. Okay, try try the voice thing. Okay, and I cast Minor Illusion in a mm -hmm. uh, direction away from us, saying, uh, Hey, big boys! And then, okay. like, that saxophone music. Yep, they fail their track, so... They wander off into the forest a little bit. Damn, minus three! <laughs> Okay. okay guys, it looks like it's working. Let's go. All start to go past where they work. Okay. You guys go a shorter distance in and the path widens up a bit. And in a small clearing ahead of you is like a large hut with a cauldron outside and a small fire burning underneath it. Can I stealth for um, the army guys um, stealth behind and report back? If you want. Yeah. Go ahead, Lachlan. I know you got this. Go put out that fire under that cauldron too. Do your sneaky thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, luckily, I can still see you. Hey, hey, hey luckily, how about you just hold back? <laughs> luckily, I still see you. Luckily, you don't have to hold back that much. <laughs> They're not that blind. Yeah, I'll make it halfway. Probably make a trip off of myself, and then I just hold my position. Hmm. Okay, what are you doing? You're just gonna hold back. You're gonna go. Want to go in and check the hut out or something? If nothing really moved, um, or if I didn't hear anything really move then I go look into like uh -huh. all right so you're gonna move in closer just to see if I could see a window in the hut or anything like that there's a window in the front yeah I peep over it you see what looks like uh, a young woman that is barefoot and she's wearing a lawn cloth and a tunic. I motion everybody to move forward. I'll try to stress players. Okay. 
So I'm going to move up a little then. So we're all closer to the hut now. Mm hmm. Can I look through the window and see what he sees? Yeah, but as you do, she stops what she was doing and comes outside. I'm just going to stand there and wave, like, uh, hi. Kind of borrow some sugar. She looks all at you very quizzically and asks, what are you doing here? We just wanted to talk to you. Yes, we're actually from the Cauldron Inspection Agency. We were wondering what that's all about and if you have a permit. She's yeah, like, totally. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yes, of course. And then I'll flash my badge real quick. You know how, like, fake cops do? Uh huh. I'll, I'll flash my eyes well. I'll show my shield and then just put it back. It's like really quick. <laughs> a big ass shield just boop boop. No, the, the, the shield badge that we have. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> We don't okay. want any trouble, we promise. She's like, hmm. And then she starts casting a spell. Oh, and oh, oh. I need, let's see. Everybody needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Luckily, my die. Oh no, we're all gonna die. Oh god. Why is wine the best? Oh god. Uh. It's not even gonna do it. Anybody with anybody with Fey ancestry, this is a charm spell. Oh yeah, I have. Hypnotic, one. hypnotic pattern. Yes. Oh come on. Oh, come on. I have yeah, we're dead. Package. Uh, god damn it. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> so, what are you doing? Every one of you failed? Dude, TPK. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. For some reason, on my sheet, I don't know if this is legit or not. But it does say I have inspiration. Yes. Now's the time. Inspiration. Absolutely. Use it. Save our asses. Oh. <laughs> Baka? I believe you have inspiration. I do. Nat one after a nat one. No motherfucking way. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Dude. Wow. You, 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 <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys just got all got hit by a freaking uh, hypnotic pattern. We're incapacitated. Oh my god. Oh, I hope my dick works. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> since. Oh, since. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I hope not. <laughs> so, as she. Uh, since you guys are all incapacitated now, she actually reveals her true form. I gotta find this. 
Oh, God damn it, ass on me. <laughs> Just screw that sofa so hard. So I can not turn. I'm good. <laughs> oh man. That would be cool with like all the other abilities. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta look this one back up because I can't. I can't find it. Oh wait, we're cool. Oh. Oh. That's one for the book. Wow. Thank God that's not like something that lasts forever. You know, I'm actually so glad this is being recorded. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, okay, let me see if I can get this on here now. Those bolts were minute. just absolutely trash. She, she can't kill us within a minute, can she? And so, this is what she looks like. Oh, you ugly bitch. So that's the skank. Look, she has her hand up to her face, too. She's like, shh. And. They're all fucking tripping. You see magical colors. Okay, so what she's gonna do now is actually cast the sleep spell. What? I cannot be put to sleep. By magic. Well, good for you. Uh, goodbye, Ventus, in the cauldron. Ventus and Baka, though, are screwed. Alright, 34. Who's first? Who's the lowest? I don't know who is the lowest. Probably fucking me. Probably Ventus. No, wait, I don't think I am, actually. I think I had higher HP than someone else. Uh, unfortunately, mine is a 33, right? My HP is 43, so it won't work on me. And me and Lachlan are immune completely. Oh. Faye and Sketchery, we can't be put to sleep by magic. <laughs> Luckily, yes. Oh. Good night, guys. So, uh, Ventus, you, <laughs> you go to sleep. So what she's going to do now is actually, uh, okay, plus 7 to hit, 46 plus 4. Oh boy, who's dying? I'm fucking dying. Oh, this is the end. <laughs> Oh wait, she has advantage, doesn't she? She doesn't need it. <laughs> Alright, 46 plus 4. Is that, is that to my AC? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that doesn't hit. Alright. 1, 2, 20. Let's see. But that should wake you up if you survive. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that hits. Plus seven. Twenty-three. Can I shield in my sleep? No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Four. D you survive. You wake up and you can move. Forty-six plus four. Be less than thirty damage. Oh, seven. And her. So this is our second attack. Oh, oh, there's two attacks. Does the first attack Great. wake me up? First attack woke him up, so now he can shield. Um, okay, Ventus, you actually have to make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. He makes it. Okay. Okay, yeah, nothing happens. And she's... Is she now awake and able to react? Yes. Which is shield? Yay. One, two, Stop twenty. She's gonna make a claw attack. First. No, 
that doesn't hit. 19? Nope. Okay. Alright. <laughs> what you gotta do? Uh, I'm gonna immediately wake up, and uh, how far away are we from her? Maybe 10 feet? Well, she moved up to you, so you're, you're gonna, if you, I mean, you got other people standing, like, within reach of you, so you can reach over and wait one other person up for your action. Oh, I gotta wake them up. Oh, shit. And then we're gonna roll. So wait, up to you, who's gonna well, help you the most? They're not asleep. They're just hypnotic pattern. Yeah. Um, but if I hit her, it can break her concentration, and then you'll all wake up. True. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna cast... Uh, I'm gonna take out my motherfucking... Wait, wait, hold on. You said she's right in front of me, right? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Ah, what does this do? Uh... Magic missile hits automatically. Daddy. Yeah, but I have a cool new staff now that my generous DM gave me. Yes, I did. <laughs> but you also so. have your other wand. Yeah, that's true. But if I put up a wall of fire uh, directly on top of her, then she has to uh, make a dex save or take 5d8. And then, that's, then she can't reach us. I would not recommend it. Uh, you don't how, far, that? how far away from us is she? It's right in front of me. Yeah. No, because if you that might hit us. A fire, um, you can make it into a ring, and it will only burn anything inside the ring. But if you're too close, or we're too close, we got caught in the ring, we take the damage. Uh, Same way as if we're caught on one on her side of the wall of fire. You see my staff glow with fire, and then I'm just like, oh, and I put it down. And then I take out my wand of magic missiles and cast that bitch at six level in her face. Face! So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, how many charges do I have in that thing? Seven charges, up with six charges. So it's three. 3d4 at first level, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so 8d4 plus 8. Ooh, I'm gonna use a sorcery point to uh, re roll those ones and that too. Okay. That's so that's, so that's uh, 10, 11, 12, 31. 15. Okay. 31 down. And then she has to make a con save of 15. Oh. Let's so take it half here. The damage, half. 30, 31 is... Your HP is... Yeah. If she doesn't die. Oh no, she's a little more beefy than that, but... Okay. She fails to save. Let's see if she fails to save. Nobody makes me see magical things and then puts me to sleep. Nobody! 1d20. Is you add your condom with this? Or? Yeah, you add the condom. Alright, so her con is plus one, so she actually fails that. Yeah! 
All right, so initiative. Yes, please. Because I still have lots of other things to do to this motherfucker. Advantage treating me well. Six. You go last. I'm going to add two to that, so it's eight. So she acts on eight count. I have advantage on initiative checks. Ah. All right. Tell me when you're done. I also have advantage on initiative checks. Fourteen. All right. A sentinel shield. Uh, August is eighteen. Team. I also rolled higher. Alright, who's next? <clears throat> who's next? So, top of the list is then Baka, then me, then where's Luckland? Oh, Luckland's going last. Me, Fentis, Baka, Blocko. Well, actually. No, but, uh, oh, yeah, Baka does the head have before Lock. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Don't know what the back spot is. I'm sure it's at least one. Six. Oh, she got a plus two. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take her to the bedroom. Damn it, she got some moves. They almost have us in trouble. Oh man, that could have turned out so much worse. Luckily, we are legends. I'm at half health. But you woke all of us up, and now we're gonna kick some ass. Alright, everybody, so we can start. August, top of the round. I'm twin spelling chaos bolt in our face. That will be a 19 and a 23. 19 and a 23 to hit? Uh, they both hit. They both hit? Yep. Nice. Just go to my character sheet to mark off the source with you want. And then... Uh, go ahead and roll all the time. So that's a total of 29, there's 12 of it being... Lightning damage. And 17 of it being... Okay, one second here. One more damage. 17 force damage, 12 white damage. Nine. Then I'll use my bonus action. And move back 10 feet if I'm fine. Okay. Um, so. As. Uh, Ventus, as you uh, start to take your turn, the ogres into the clearing. Okay. How far away are they? I'm about 30 feet. How close are they apart? They're right next to each other. Okay. 
they're gonna get a fireball to the face. Oh, already. So I cast fireball. Uh, they needed to make a dexterity save throw. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, yeah, they get minus one. So. I was confused that I remembered how you had the staff. Oh, they pass, so it's half damage. Uh, 8d6 coming away. Mm -hmm. 25. So it took, uh, what, 12 or 13 points of damage? 12. 12. Alright, so just... Alright, 15 now. There it took 12, okay. Alright, so we're going to go to the next initial order. <coughs> uh, okay, so technically the ogres, it's their turn now. August, they're, one of them's going to move in to attack you. Plus six, two D four plus four. A nineteen heads. Two D eight. Is it, how do I have a higher armor class? I have no idea. What's your, your draconic history thing? Is... 15 damage. I eat 15 damage to my friends. Is August next to me? Uh, You're at the back, aren't you? Well, I came up to the window, so I thought we were like all together. Yeah, you're pretty much bunched up running for each other, yeah. Okay, uh, the ogre that attacked him, I'm going to use my second bull attack to attack that ogre. Mm hmm As a reaction. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> for seven damage. Okay. Oh, so disgusting. Okay, so the next ogre X, and he's going to attack you. Uh, Baka. Holy shit. Yikes. That is. Two T eight plus four. Okay. Yo, that max damage. Holy balls. Like you smacked me to say this is what a pretty size ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next to act is the dust egg. And she's gonna cast sleep. No me kai. No me kai. 
I guess that just is going to sleep again. Fuck. <laughs> 42. Oh, that, uh... Oh my god! That might put both Ventus and Baka to sleep. Uh, uh, I cast fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would take the lowest HP. Lowest HP first, uh, yeah. So, Ventus has 16. Yeah, there's only enough for about probably two of you guys. 26. Is your HP 26 or lower right now, Baka? Yeah, I'm at 23. Okay, get both the same. Yep. Alright, so um that's your turn, so we go to Luckland. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, um bonus action, I summon my shadow blade. Okay. And then I sharp tutor it to the The heck? Okay. August dropped off. Oh shit. You can get him right. Go ahead. Fourteen? Yeah. Yeah. And my turn in it appears back in my Alright, so according to the initial order we have August then Ventus. August is asleep. I'm not asleep. Ventus is asleep. Ventus is asleep. I can't be put to sleep. Oh that's right. Okay, yeah. Alright, so August, it's your turn. Yep, I'm gonna cast Chaos Ball at level 2 out of my range and Twin Spell. Wait a minute. Can you hold it? Because I have to. Yeah, I'll just draw. It's on the second turn. Oh, Baka. Where? Alright, give me your initiative counting in. 14 is 14. 14? Yeah, it dropped. My thing dropped you off. Alright. But go ahead and take a turn. Did I get put to sleep? Yeah. But that, uh, the Hag's turn was after yours. So you were been able to take a turn first. Yeah, so go ahead and take a turn. Okay, well, as part of my turn, I'm last, uh, Shield of Sanctuary. So. Sanctuary? Yep. Okay, so they can't attack without no wisdom, wisdom save. Okay. And then... I'm going to... Hold on. Two battles. Uh, prayer of healing. Mm hmm? Prayer of healing. Prayer of healing? That takes ten minutes to cast. Oh shit, it does. Oh. <laughs> In my case, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Go ahead. Ten. That's more than the difference of what was left over when he was put to sleep. So he's not actually asleep. Yeah, so you're not actually asleep. Ventus is though. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to the top of the round. August, you're not asleep, so. August, 
it's your turn. My turn now? Yep. So, same plan as before. Twin scaling cows will at level two. Okay. Both targeting the hag. Already. That is a 17 at 23. The 17 hits. Hey, um. Oh. And I get your Okay, yeah, 17 hits. So I guess both of them hit. Both of hit? Alright. Yeah. That would be Dr. Damage. But uh, that will go and uh, attack one of the ogres. Yeah. That one will jump? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So I have to make it so on that. 29 damage. Okay. The head again. I I take it that won't hit the ogre. Uh, what was the thing? Ten. No, it don't hit. Okay. So it bounced, but uh, it did not hit. So and that's cold damage on the eleven. Okay. She's looking pretty hard. And then also because I did thunder damage, I will fly 10 feet and try to get closer to backup for some healing. Okay. Ventus is asleep. Baka? Wait, is uh, sleep concentration? I don't believe it is. Let me look it up. If it is, she has to make the save. No. No, it's not concentration. That's no. So... I would be Ventus' turn, and then uh, his turn is uh, in being a slave. If Ventus is asleep, doesn't he get a save to, to wake up? No. He has to be, uh, you have to, uh, shake him awake or something. Okay, um, where is he in relation to me? He'd be, like, right next to you. You have to take your action to wake him up. Okay, so I'll do that. Okay, Ventus, you need to make a DC-15 wisdom save. Okay, he makes it. Hey, Ben. Wake up. Wake up. Just like shoving him with my foot. Mm -mm -mm. And... Uh, Ventus, you took damage before? Yeah, he's damaged. Oh yeah, man, I fell. But I'm okay. I have plenty of healing options. I do not have any healing options in my mom as I have. And you have plenty of potions? <laughs> you're next to me, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, oh. I am too. So, I'm going to use... Well, I would use my action, so as my bonus action, cast healing word. Okay. And I'm going to do that on August. Okay. Who is... Let me just see what the roll is on that. 
Seven. Seven. Better than nothing. I'll take it. That's actually the max. Nice. Yeah. And that will end my turn. Let's throw down my sanctuary around me. Okay. So one of yogurts is gonna attempt to attack you. So, what's the safety C? Baka? Uh, the wisdom save? Yep. Give me one second. Safety C's are 13. Oh, he made a 16. Boo. Let's see if he hits. Jeez. This is plenty uh, of dangerous. Who? Alright, who next? Um, I don't think they're gonna move. So, August? Yeah. 18 hit? In 18 does not hit. Does not hit. Alright, so it's the Hag's turn, and hmm. alright, so she's going to cast Hypnotic Pattern, which means I need the August, Ventus, and Baca, and Luckland to all make saves. That is not a save. You save. Yes. That is not a save. I get advantage. Yeah, you get advantage. Luckland, you get advantage. What is the charm with advantage? Huh? It's a charm spell. He already rolled with advantage. Yeah, I rolled wood. Oh, it, okay, yeah. Okay, so you don't. That one and a five. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Big she, oops. So she cast a spell, so that ends her turn. Luckily, it is your turn. So I just rolled to break the charm. Yeah, it's even in your turn, yeah. That does not make it. But you do have a vintage, so. Try that again. There you go. Yes. Okay, so we come back to the top around with August. They say at a certain age you just stop caring. I wonder what age that is. Simply age is for Colorado Comics. Chance and hydrate for your big skin at any age. Come easy, easy, easy. Make your save and throw, bitch. Hold on. For the record, she needed to make a wisdom save to affect me. To affect 
No, it's only attacks, I think. No, it's it's harmful spells as well, but they have to target me. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just an area effect. August. My turn? Yep. Alright. Well, I'm out of sorcery points, so I guess. But you just... are, you are, you are charmed, so. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, I can't do anything at all. And, uh, and yeah, yes, yeah, so you have to end, you're basically end your turn. I'll end my turn again. Try to save. 15 saves. Yeah, I'm no longer shot. Now it's Pentasis. Yep. <sighs> so, she's still awake, yes? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how's your story? Okay, sorry. Um, Alright, so she's still up, right? How's she look? She's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah, bloodied. She's bloodied. Plus you... get a good number on her. Plus you still have the two ogres. So, fucking ogres. But this, this one... Okay. Okay. Seventeen hits. Yeah. Eighteen? She did? No, not quite. Okay, then I'm gonna use the sorcery point to re-roll the one for free. Okay. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely hits. For 16. So here we have... 34 total damage. All right, she goes down. Nice. And just barely, too. Then I use my bonus action to fart on her dead body. But you still... You in your turn? But I still what? Mm, I'm gonna say, I don't know. But... So you know, yeah, you only have yeah. This you used your two magic magics. So, um, Baka, I'm gonna try to wake up now. Is that concentration? Uh, yeah, it is. Not a concentration. She did. Yeah, she did. I guess I'm up. Yeah. Uh, I'm attacking the ogre that's my Okay. Okay. 
Oh, look at damage. Okay. Any bonus actions? Um, give me one sec. Um. Nope. No spiritual weapon. Um, it's just the two ogres. You know, what? screw it. I'm casting spiritual weapon. Fuck it. Let's get it over with. Sixteen hits. Watch the four damage. Four damage. Okay. He is badly hurt. We got one that's still pretty look, looking pretty good. And uh, end your turn. Yep. So now it goes to these ogres' turn. I think this first one here is going to attack Ventus. One, two, twenty. Oh. One, six. No, eight, six. Is a hit? Okay. Parker. Six. Eighteen. Not hit. Okay. So we go back to the south of the realm with August. My turn? Mm-hmm. Is it my turn? Yep. Okay, just in case you cut out. Do we skip Luckland's turn? Oh, Luckland. Never mind. Yep. Sorry, bottom the round. Okay, not my turn. Anzu? Where is Anzu, by the way? I just messaged him. Not in course. He popped in and said something about him being late and I haven't seen him. But go ahead and look and take it there. Okay, so the uh, hag's dead, right? Yep. Uh, shadow Blade's a waste. You know what? Forget it. I run up in range. Mm -hmm. Up to 60 feet. Healthy ogre. I'm gonna target the healthiest o o um, ogre. Then oh. off to the side of it. Throw my shadow blade. Okay. Uh, ten. Yeah, ten doesn't hit. And my turn and it appears back in my hand. Okay. August. <laughs> August. I hear you. Man. 
I'm gonna cast Chaos Ball level 2 of my rank. Mm hmm. At what? The healthiest looking Oakland. Healthiest one? Okay. Twenty three hits. Oof. For seven damage. Oof, very low damage. That'll be a uh, cold damage. All right. Does that end your turn? I guess. I don't know what else I can do. Parker? It's Ventus's turn. Oh, yeah, yeah Ventus. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to get into a position where I can try to get both of them with burning hands. Okay. As long as I'm not hurting my allies, and uh, I need them to make a dexterity save, go for Yeah, they don't save. Sixteen? Alright, one of them is hanging on by a thread. the ogre that's in front of me. Okay. Hopefully finish him off. 15 hits. And he goes down. He goes down? Yep. Sweet. I move my spiritual weapon to attack the other ogre. Mm-hmm. For eight damage. Yep. And All right. Yep. He's still hanging on. I will take my movement to reach up to him. Mm -hmm. I will end my turn. Okay. Now it comes to his turn, and he's going to attack him. Sixteen doesn't hit. So we go to the bottom around with Lucklin. Is you eating? It's okay. Go ahead and type in chat what you're eating. Oreos. Dinner of Champions? I say screw it. I dropped a stupid shadow blade and just unleashed my um, bow attack. Mm hmm. D and D champions. We are the 
this fire could have gotten mm. so badly for us. <laughs> I might really hate Fluffy. That is so, so close to you. You know what? Uh, uh, I fail at shooting that. I'm just going to go in the little hut and just sit down. <laughs> it's okay. You already helped the party enough as being a party like historian. And, and I don't know how you do those skill checks so well, but you do them so well. But after I hate superhero attacking, I think you would say All right. So we circle back to the top of the round, August. Yep, I'm gonna look at the ogre who is still standing, and I'm gonna cast Chaos Ball as level one. Nineteen hits. So Nineteen hits. Yeah. For 10 damage. Okay. What does it look like when you get, get rid of him? Well, let me identify the type of damage. I have a 5 and a 6, a 3 and a 6. Poison damage, I guess. Hmm. Oh. So, I... Mm -hmm. I look at the ogre at this being my teammates successfully kill the hag and the other ogre. And I'm gonna point at that and cast my spell. And then when I see what comes out, I'll be like, oh, that's new. And then I'll hit the ogre and the deal from the back. Okay. I've never done poison damage with that spell before. That's. that's... <laughs> it's all new. Okay. So. Guys defeated the dust cat. I don't. I don't think she. Okay. I, I really don't think she liked us looking at her. Wow. We couldn't it's even being very mean today. I'm not using a great approach. Just an awful. I'll heal for seven. Okay. You guys gonna head back to the village? I inspect the um ag that we have. I go inside the hut and inspect the hut. That's the inside of the hut. Um when you go inside you'll find a, a small cradle. Um, that contains the, uh, uh, Mac and Sonia's baby. I'll see the kid, I'll pick them up. I'll take the kid to Luffler and say, You're a mother, here, take care of this child. I'll have to Yep. I take the baby, wrap it up, check it, see if it needs changing or not, and then just keep it close. Okay. What else do I find inside the hut? Um, lots of 
um, things like herbs, um, different roots. Well, I'll go and collect those, thinking that they might be useful. They'd be useful in brewing potions. Well, I materials are always useful, so I'll just ask them on uh, and if I find something you can make here, then it would have been some potion. That was the herbalist. This yeah. <laughs> well, looks like the herbalist was the culprit the entire time. Chop off her head and put it in my bag. <laughs> oh, yeah? Now, do I... I, I know what hags do with mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. But do... Does Luckland don't know? You're... Uh... Probably. Uh, history or Arcana? Uh, we'll go history. I'll get still so fair share of history because he made the check to me. Sure, why not? I mean, that's good enough, I guess. Um, what hags do with babies is they, uh, infantry towns and they like to sow some chaos and discord in towns and they often adopt babies, eat them, and a couple of months later they give birth and often switch the babies. So human parents raise hag babies. That would require an investigation check. Well, I'll tell the party what could possibly be happening this trial, and then I'll try to see if I can tell and nobody else who wants to can try as well. Um, yeah, I'll try and help so he gets advantage. No, that's not good enough. I have bad intelligence. I have a dump stat somewhere. It could be wisdom or anything else for that time. Fourteen's good enough. Well, Ventus over here saving. Um. Yeah, it's just a normal baby. I, I put my bottle of holy water away. Do we see anything else in the hut that would um, point to her with uh, all um, the other stuff going on? Alternately, they, uh, they are fake creatures. So... Detect good and evil. Lop off this lady's head and put it in my bag. Do I get, can I make an investigation check on our body? Um, yeah, but I'll tell you, she's not really carrying anything. Yeah. Hope we get some some hag loot. Our rolls were so terrible at the very beginning. Yet somehow we survived that. No, fuck that. It was a bad thing. No, you guys were real close to, you know, because she cast sleep. And she has a reaction whenever somebody wakes up within 30 feet of her. That DC 15 wisdom saving throw. 
if you don't succeed, huh? she um, deals um, a 2d10 psychic damage to you and then regains an amount of hit points equal to that. Oh, luckily, Xanthus could make that save. Me and Lachlan never had to because we never got put to sleep because we're immune to that. Well, it's magical. And Baco was taken from the sleep as well by healing himself. Um, who got attacked um, while they were unconscious? Ventus did. Okay. Um, Then he woke up and had to make the save. Okay, Ventus, your maximum hit points has been decreased by five. You're, you're cursed. You're cursed. At least, least I'm at full HP. So, um, your next long rest, um, unless you get the curse removed, you will be decrease your HP by five. Um, you said it, it's cured after a long rest? No, after each long rest. Oh, so your next long rest, you're gonna lose five max hit points. No, it's a curse. No. Hey guys, I feel five hit points weaker. How about you? I feel fine. You get hit by their, their night, her not being touched. But it won't be until you finish a long rest. Alright, so you guys return to the village. Okay, so it's only about midday, so um, you go to the uh, village mayor. Yeah, I uh, take the headset out of my bag and throw it out and feel like, there goes your herbalist. He looks kind of aghast. He goes... What happened? A lot. But the gist of it is that we went into the forest north of here. We ran into some elders, distracted them, got past them, ran into this young war looking woman, and she cast a spell on us. She attacked us. We, we tried. We, we were trying to save ourselves, and she attacked us. That's pretty much what happened. We managed Ooh. to kill her. Was she what was causing causing the problems in town? Probably. We tried to ask, but then she attacked us, and she turned into a hag. Well. Thank you. She had a baby. She had a baby. Thank baby. you. Thank you for your work. And luck when we'll hand it over, I assume. You know, um, we well, can just break it to our family inside. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to go over to uh, the uh, butcher's house and give them back their baby. Go ahead and roll for adoption. Mm hmm. <laughs> After we, after we settle our business here with the mayor. Okay. Because remember, the king is going to give you a reward for this. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so hey, you guys. By the way, mayor, do you guys have any uh, clerics here? Uh, Anyone who could cure a curse. 
Goku would need to be a higher level player and can't do it. You you would have to travel back to Rote. To Rote? They thank you for oh. handing back the baby. No problem. Just pass this message on to the rest of the town. Get your shit together. They look you up. They have been left behind by the herbalist to cause them. They nod and take the baby inside. Alright, so you guys need to find a wizard. You need to find what? A wizard. For a remove for a remove curse spell. Um removing what spell? For remove curse. Oh, you can do that with uh at the church with the cleric. Yeah, bring a restoration. Okay. So you guys wanna go travel back to Rote and pay for a greater restoration? Uh how much would that be? Uh it's gonna be about a thousand gold. Yeah, because it's 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 kinda it's kind of rare to find. I mean, you can go to a house, Jurasco, um, Enclave. But it's kind of. Uh, you are connected with them through. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Dang, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, what you call it? Um, Bormer. Yeah, Sidon. Sidon. I don't want to use that favor, so I'll just go to the cleric and pay a thousand gold. We have a more than that. We have enough in the keep our bank. I'm sure we can all agree that you're allowed to use some of this. Yeah. Okay. So. We have nine thousand. Okay. Um, Alright, so you guys go visit the king. And then I'll come out. My robes are all white. <laughs> and Ventus takes a level in cleric. Hey! No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was about to say, I fucking love that. Got go, bitch. Bitch. Wouldn't it be great to like use like empowered spell on like a cleric spell? That would be fun. But that is what Divine Soul is for. Divine Soul can do that, indeed. Yep. Yeah. But they don't get this AC. And then I kiss my scales. <laughs> okay, so you gotta go visit the king and you're gonna explain to him what happened. Uh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. For the last time, Yep. I'll throw the head. Alright, so. Again. King Borno. Looks down and it was. Oh. You guys certainly are accomplished to get a hag. Oh, it was it was no big deal. Uh, step cut off. It was no big deal. Alright. So he uh gestures at um 
one of his servants and they bring you a pouch and you each get 2,000 gold. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, King. And then I'll throw a thousand at August and tell him to put it in the bank. All right, guys. So that is the end of the problem of the hack. Now, what do you guys want to do next? What's the next thing on the list? Well, you guys have received info that, um, look, Lachlan's family murder is in Sharn, or you can try to track down what's going on with the, uh, try to get info because of the Bone Knights that knew about your past, Ventus. So that's up to the part. I heard you on this one. Okay, so you can either track down um, Rudon, the assassin of Luckland's family, or try to track down some info on uh, why a bone knight knew about Ventus's past. I'm curious about that right there. I am also curious about that. You guys want to do that? Because all this also has his mission. But we have no leads on that. So, yeah. um, remember, you got a little bit of info that, that some changelings were paid, um, posing as the uh, assassins. So, um, I don't have anything written for that just yet, so, but I will be getting around to it. Okay, so, alright, so, what you have learned thanks to August's connection to Karnath, is that <coughs> the Bone Knights were part of the Emerald Claw. And the Emerald Claw originates in Karnath. So, you might want to start there. Let's stop and go head to Karnath, then. rest in the kingdom as we usually do. Well, we should head to the keep. Let's stay. That way we don't have to pay for it. Under construction. I mean, technically you can rest there, but there's a lot of dust and spider webs and. Yeah, well, I'd rather rest in the kingdom anyway. With new Grab Plus, you get unlimited free delivery and cashback rewards for ordering noodles. All right, so. Everybody want to do up five gold? Yeah. Okay, so you guys want to head to Karnath in the morning. So everybody get a long rest. Um, would it be this city or the Sharn where I would pick up the item um, I talked to you about earlier? Uh, Bammy? I forget what this is. Um, you might be able to find one in town. So now I just two more. Level two chaos bolts. Um, okay, I go off and by myself and try okay. to find. I remember I gave you a price on it, right? Yeah. Okay. If you got that, go ahead.
All right, everybody good? My name is Daryl. Yep, all rested up. All right, yep. so you guys wake up in the morning, go downstairs, you have some breakfast, and you can head over to the lightning rail and purchase tickets to get to the capital of Karnath. If this map walk up to the uh, to the teller station, I'll be like, "Hey Jim, we need more tickets." And they're starting to get to know you by name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll walk off behind Ventus and be like, "We're heading to Carnath." So the capital of Carnath is Korth, and the tickets are seven hundred and fifty gold. No, fuck. Oh boy. It's a 1500 mile journey. It's gonna take you two days. A little over two days. Uh, are there hey, uh, you guys feel like um, walking? <laughs> it's 1500 miles. It's gonna take you a couple of months. Oh, well, 500 <laughs> miles. <laughs> you can also. You can rent it. It's 750 gold to get there, and if you feel like it for 50 gold, you can also get a sleeper car. I have 785 right now. We just so got up my purse. Yeah, didn't we just get 2,000 each? Yeah, you just got 2,000 each. Well, priorities. We gotta get there somehow. I have about six thousand on me. Um, alternatively, you can pay a thousand gold to take an airship. Thousand gold what? Alternatively, you can take a thousand pay a thousand gold to take an airship. Thousand gold to get airship. Yeah. Or seven fifty each. Mm hmm. Or eight hundred if you want. Gold is a lot cheaper. Or if you pay fifty gold, you can get a sleeper car. So you can rest while you're on the um. If we take the airship, do we get a pilot with that? I mean, who's gonna pilot it? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. 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 Airship, I can pilot it. Um. Yeah, but you're not responsible for it either. Someone else is. Can we rest on the airship? Yes. That's a lot cheaper. But the lightning That's only one thousand each, or is it one thousand for? Uh, one thousand each. Oh, oh, no, that's more expensive. Yeah. Okay, no, we'll do that eight hundred for the sleeper car. Okay. Well, so as you guys purchase your ticket and board the train, and you head up, you you head out to uh Karnath. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna spend seven fifty, and then I'm gonna hide with the rest of the luggage, and I'm gonna minor illusion myself to be a piece of luggage. <laughs> okay. Um. I was sleeping there. All right, you guys doing anything with your two days of downtime? Uh, I don't I know have, what what I would do. I have my ring, so I'm gonna cast spells into my ring. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be treading read a book on how to speak giant. Uh, you'd have to purchase one. Is there one in the train station? No. So. Okay. I'll just uh, do some push-ups, try to get my strength up a little bit. Mm. I guess I'll try to study the herbs and what I got from the hag and see if I can Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do a workout montage with all the luggage and get my strength up. It's gonna be a montage. Montage. Motherfucking montage. Okay, so as you travel, Karnath is a country known for its ale, dairy,
class, livestock, lumber, and martial discipline, along with paper and textiles, and, of course, the undead. Carnath is also known for its storms and long winters, the people being grim and sto stoic are accustomed to enduring the hardship without complaint. You come in into Taoist and begin to cross the river that empties into Sykin Sound and then into the city of Reckonmark, marking the edge of Carnath. As you look out the window, you can see Reckonmark Academy, which was the premier military institute in Corvier prior to the last war. All of Galifair's officers trained at Reckonmark. This is a place that August would recognize, obviously, from his training there. And you can make out the people training in the drill yard. All right. And just as quickly, you pass out of Rick and Mark and move into Rick and Wood. A dark wood that seems to be oddly quiet. Just as you take in the site, you begin to pass over the Karn River and into Korth comes into view. Korth is a giant f city fortress on the edge of Nightwood Wood, at, and the seat of King Caius III. And its walls and towers bristle with weapons of war. The city walls themselves are made of a dark stone and are thick, made to withstand a siege almost indefinitely. The party is met on the platform by a uh, general... Uh, okay. I'm assuming that you contacted uh, your general friend, August. I would have, if he was here, I would have messaged him and said that was coming. Yeah. So General Darum meets meets you, and you recognize his face almost immediately as the doors open. His gray hair and wrinkled face, and the scar that runs down over his right eye, and the patch that he wears to cover it in the missing eye. Today, he wears full battle armor as he greets you. He walks up to you and, and in tradition grips your forearm in the warrior's greeting. August, my boy, it's been too long. Yes, it has, sir. What's all the armor for? You seem ready for battle. He gestures down at the uh, lower end of the platform. No, baby, you you know, no. You have your colors over there. She's still awake. Yeah, she's reaching for yours. Is that, is that what he says to August? That's amazing. <laughs> She's like, hey, baby, your colors are over there. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he gestures down at the lower end of the platform. And he says, we have prepared a uh, some ceremonial march with your own unit. As you leave the platform and you look down at, you get a good look at the city. Most of the homes are made of stone to prevent the sp spread of fire and the city is quite well organized and the streets are wide, making it quicker to deploy forces around the city. At the bottom of the platform is your old unit with some old faces you know and some fresh ones as well. I'll go up and greet them. They greet the uh, the ones you know will greet you with a warrior's greeting. And you are all given honors as you walk down the esplanade that leads down to the city center. As you move through the city, um, citizens come out of their homes and watch as a group as the group moves through the snow laden city, although the streets are cleared. You arrive at the city center and turn east to arrive at the castle of King Caius Erwina III. As you arrive at the gate, soldiers stand at attention on the inside line of the path that lead up to the double bailey and into the keep itself and salute the party with their swords as they pass. You enter the keep and are ushered into the presence of the king. The king appears to be a man in his late fifties who, despite being pale, seems quite full of life. Greetings, adventurers. To what do we owe this pleasure of this visit? Well, 
we came across a bone knife. And this bone knife happened to know bit about the past of my friend Ventus here. And we came to Karnas to try to figure out why. He speaks up and says, I am aware of the attack on Sharn. How is my cousin Borno? I haven't seen him since the Treaty of Thronehold. He is doing well. It's good. Well, the Bow Knights are remnants of the Emerald Claw. They are former paladins of the Blood of All who were interred in the Bonecraft armor. Cursed thing that. I dissolved the alliance with the Blood of All and reinstated worship of the Sovereign Host. However, those that were in opposition of this left the service and it is said that they are now in the service of Lady Amaro. Lady what? I did not hear you. Lady Amaro? Is that so? What could you tell me about this Lady Amaro? What we know of Lady Amaro is that she is a powerful lich. Indeed, you would need much more strength to defeat such a cursed thing. We have word that she resides on the island of Farlanen, in Immoral Castle. I see. Well, I'm unable to do anything with that. Well, I'm not going to put this current level of strength. So we'll continue to train until I'm actually strong enough to take it down. What might be more? He holds up his hand to pause your conversation for a moment. And he says, what might be more helpful is something that you might find interesting, sorcerer, is that some of the necromancers that we have left here have been doing research inside the moorland. While traveling to the Crimson Water, we have seen some people moving about an old Warforged Colossus that is fused into the mountainside. They were wearing golden robes. Wearing what? Golden robes. Mentis, golden. he is speaking towards you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he said golden robes. Mm-hmm. My, my eyes will, will light up. It says, to get there, you must travel to Vathenroyd and travel to the mountains south of there and then travel into the Mornland. You won't miss it. I'll start to sweat a little bit. I will have my private airship take you to the Vathenroyd. In the meantime, I would like to extend our hospitality. I have a prior a feast for you tonight, and you can leave in the morning. Ah, uh, yes. You're far too kind, but I will accept it. Thank you, my lord. I'll just will bow to the king. Uh, He stands up and, and bows to the rest of the rest of the party as well. All right, so you guys have some free time to the evening. So, is there anything you want to do before this? Is there any kind of magic item shop in the city? Imagine there is. August should make his way around pretty fast. Yeah. 
So I'll take them to the magic item shop and get you out. I'm passing my Anything in particular? Just kind of as for me, I'm, I just want to see what they have. Um, you guys want a couple of potions of invulnerability? Uh, we want a couple of potions of invulnerability. If they have those, those sound good. Remember, we still have one of those too. How much are they? They'll be about two and a gold apiece. Baco will take one. Okay. Marcus will also take one. If you drink like different potions that have different effects, do they stack? No, they, they essentially they all stack. But I mean, you can't like take two potions of vulnerability and get like half half. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just yeah. meant like if I take that and then the potion of heroism. Mm. That I have. Yeah, that would essentially stack. Bag of tricks. Yeah. Possibly a horn of the endless maid. <laughs> bag of tricks. You can get a bag of tricks. For. Hmm? Hmm? I'm talking to the granddaughter. Bag of tricks. Plus ten. party and say, we all know that Karnas is the one for a number of months, right? Mm-hmm. Although, largely, King Caius in the third has pretty much put an end to all that. Well, then I'll say formerly. And then I'll ask the poor cleric, would you happen to have any leftover items of that nature? Necromantic items? Just asking how to keep it. Those would be kind of expensive. Those would be kind of what? Expensive. Expensive? Mm hmm. Well, I'd have to see what you have first. Decide the type. Can you 
I don't have like a list of magic items, so are you looking for anything specific, Gladys? No, I just have to have curiosity. Mm -hmm. That it's Karnas, so maybe. Yeah. Um. So possibly in the future, when you guys get chances like this, just uh between sessions, make up some lists of stuff. So you can reference it? Well, wasn't expected to Yeah. A good shot like this. Alright, do you guys want to return to the keep? Sure. I will. Hmm? I guess I will as well. Okay, so, yeah, you return in the evening and see a large banquet set up. A servant shows you to your seats at the head of the table. All the heads of Karnath are there, as well as Reverend De Dennis from House Dennis. The spread of food is decent, and it's rack of lamb, you see steaks, roasted pork, venison, bread, cheese, beads, onion, and the finest wine that Carnath can offer as long as, as well as their famous ale. So, yep. August will pull out his best manners and we'll try to have at least a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Baka doesn't get this much very often. <laughs> so, the night passes. You guys kind of smooth and talk your way through the night and a servant shows you to some quarters they have set up for you and you wake up the next morning and are ushered through the castle and to the back and up a tower to board King's Gaius's private airship. The captain of the ship is a half-elf bearing the mark of the storm. He greets you and says, I am Captain Yusuf of the Warding Wind and we shall arrive tomorrow morning. I have some berths prepared for you down below. Please feel free to use them. Thank you. We shall. So, you guys are sailing through the air. Anything in particular you want to do well, for the day? I guess I'll try to continue studying those words I have. See if I can learn what I was saying there. I will uh, also be doing that workout with Montauk again to try to get that bump to the strength score. Oh. I'm doing this for hopefully maybe a proficiency in herbalism or something. And Bobby's maybe gonna... some intelligence. Okay, so. As you guys are going about your little routine, you hear someone, a door pop open, and someone yells, We've got some creatures off the bow. We need some help above. I immediately run up. I'll also immediately run up. Same. Go, go, go. As you come up on onto the deck, you see. Two cockroaches 
a few dust mitts and a giant eagle swooping towards the uh, warding wind. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not beating a 19. I'm not beating a 21. Alright, um. 21 for Ventus. Wrong chat, August. I realized that. Buck is at 19. And Buckland is at 9. I got a 5. You got a 5? Yeah. This my advantage. Ouch. I mean, I got <coughs> Baka, August. Lucklin, Ventus. I gotta put you in. You had a 20 something, didn't you? I got a 21. 21. Alright, so. Top it around with Ventus. How far away are they? They're about 30 feet off the bow. Uh, are they grouped together? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'd like to cast Fireball. Mm -hmm. So, I need them. I need anything I can get within that, uh, what is it? 30 foot radius, I believe? 20 foot radius. I make a dexterity 15. None of these have a lot of HP, so... Is that all of them? In one roll? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 33... 15? Alright. Jaguar Eagles down. 16. 16? Right. Yeah. That's down to 10. That's down to... 20, uh, 11, and, well, they all survived. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, I'll shake my butt at them, and then I'll end my turn. Alright, so, next up is Baka. Yay. Uh, for that mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Batter. Shatter? Yep. They all got to make a con save. Check this real quick. It's a ten foot radius, so anything in that little sphere gets mm. hit. Yes, and she can also send Okay. So as many of them as possible. Okay. Let's see. I think you'll be able to clear these dust mats. Yeah, they gotta okay, so it'll be a flat roll for them. They don't pass. Mm. 
How much damage do you take? Uh, 3d8, sure. but I'm going to use my channel divinity. Mm -hmm. And hold on, let me just get the exact. Yeah, go ahead and know your damage. You're only uh, like one HP. So don't waste your channel divinity. I hate to say it, but I think it's four damage, bro. <laughs> yeah. If I don't use my oh, no, damage. no, they all die. I missed that part. Yeah, all they're all dead. Okay. Yeah. So you have two cover crashes and a giant eagle left. And a dragon? No, a giant eagle. Oh, a giant eagle! I was about to lick my eyebrows and hey, baby. <laughs> Uh, where do they fall? Uh, they're since they're flying, they're gonna fall straight down. <laughs> Goodbye. I just Bye, pictured guys. like an airplane getting shot out of the sky, and it's just like <laughs> smoke comes out. Of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, bonus action, sir. What? Bonus actions. I thought you said they died. Yeah, but you can still take a bonus action. And there's still two more. Yeah, well, there's a giant eagle and two cockatrices. That's what's left? Yeah. You have two cocks and an eagle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... cast spiritual weapon. On the cockatrice, one of the cockatrices. Okay. He didn't want to say on one of the cocks. No, I did not. It's an eagle with two cocks. One eagle, two cocks. Sweet. <laughs> Fifteen to hit. Fifteen to hit. So far, everyone said yep. cock except for Lucklin. Yep, that hits. Okay, seven damage on cock one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that one's almost dead. He said cock one. <laughs> and I'll use my movement to make sure that I'm right beside Ventus. We got this. Okay, so I go next initiative order. He's, the, he's uh, actually gonna copy Ventus and like shake his. So his the group tail. is gonna move in <laughs> and land on the deck. So, Baka, they're going, uh, see the first Baka Dress is going to attack you. Plus three, and 1d4 plus one. So, small cops or big cops? They're considered small. <laughs> it literally says small monstrosity. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Um, Fentus. Eighteen doesn't hit. Nope. All right. Shiny eagle attack. Oh, it's got multi attack. Two attacks with its beak and one with its talons. Double now, <laughs> so does it like blow itself up and fall out of the sky? Who did it attack? Uh, these are actually against Lachlan. Okay. Oh, that one hits. Uh, um. Match? Hits who? Lachlan. That's a hit. First Oof. AC 16. Talons for 2d6 plus 3. 
2d6 plus 3 for 11 total damage. And now, Lachlan. I'm getting attacked again, or it's my turn? It's your turn. Okay, uh, I'll cast Toll the Dead on the end. The one who's attacking me is injured. Still that's a right save. Now. That's a save, right? Yes. Uh, Cockatrice. Which one? DC uh, 14. Which one are you using it on? Uh, the one in front of me. Oh, the giant the one that just... Okay, a giant eagle. Uh, the one that hit me? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so wisdom. It's plus two. I just move out of the way onto the airship at the highest. Uh, is there like those um, crow's nest on the? No. Yeah, I just back up out of the way. If you back up, it's going to get an opportunity attack. Uh, I have enough health. It's fine. I'll stay there. You stay there? Get my turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Last on the list is August. Yep. How close are the enemies to each other? Uh, they are all pretty much right next to each other. And could I drop a shatter in the middle of that was out hitting my allies? Yeah. Then that's what I'm doing. Eighteen. Oh. Okay. So let's see. Eighteen or nine damage. That was the question. Plus one. Plus one. Okay. So they're all really plus one. Nope. They fell. And that's it. They all die. Easy, one round. I have fives all around. Alright, so... That's done. Alright, so you guys can take a long rest. Yeah. All right. So you rest through the night, and when you wake in the morning, you're arriving on a hill outside of Vathenroyd. Vathenroyd itself is a large walled city that has withstood many attacks during the last war. It now stands as a defense against the horrors that creep out of the Mornland. <clears throat> as you look around, a large blue bird comes out of the mist. A large blue bird. Let me see. I got this one. It looks like this. And bonus points to anybody who knows this. That looks mad familiar. Is that from like Toronto? Or Monster Hunter? It is. Monster Hunter? Yeah, dude. Monster Hunter, yeah. See, that guy's Bonus Let's see, I'm gonna put up I did know that from somewhere, just cut it that fast. 
Hell no. Okay, so I got it. So plus three. All right, everybody, roll initiative. Vendus, what's yours? I got a nat one, baby. Total? Total is like six. Six. Baka, what's yours? Eighteen. Eighteen. Lucklin? Eight. Eight. Um, August? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, jeez. What is it for that? <clears throat> Alright, so we're top of the round with August. Yep, I'm gonna cast a little two chaos bolt on my ring and twin spell. Okay. That will be a 17 and an 8 to hit. Yeah, that's both hit. A 14 and a 19. Do you turn? Yep. Uh, so I guess Rachel had your baby. Figure out what damage type that is. Nope. Lightning on the fort. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, you mean like, uh, Thunder on the 19. Thunder? Okay, hold on. Four, he's got 14 a... lightning damage, 19 thunder damage. Alright, he's got a made a con save now. Plus two. Okay. Oh, okay. And it is now stunned. Yep. Yeah. It falls out of the sky because it's not flapping its wings anymore. It, it, no, it's just walking on the ground. But it's stunned now. Well, it's stunned to the start of its next turn. So. Is that flying? Would it be able to stay in the hill if it's stunned? My ruling would be no. But it, it's walking well, on the ground. Oh, it's walking on the ground. Yeah. All right. So it's fine. <coughs> it falls over properly. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Baka? Yeah, my thing cut off. This happened. You're being attacked by a large blue bird. Well, that part I got. Yeah. It was August's turn. He cast Chaos Bolt and twin spelled it. Yeah. You said the thing is on the, on the ground? Yeah. It's stunned. Okay. Where where did we... Where are we that we came up on it? We got out of the airship? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna rush it. Okay. I mean, do I make it with my movement? 
Yeah, you can make it with your movement. Uh, I'm rushing and I'm attacking. With 17 to hit. 17, that hits. For 10. For 10 damage. Okay. That will be my... Turn? Yes. Alright, so it's this thing's turn now. And... Let's see. It makes three attacks, two pecs, and one tail attack. Or it would if it weren't stunned. Well, only to the start of its turn. Oh. And it's now it's his turn. Okay. Right. Bring it. Alright, so they're all plus three. Three. T. One T. Four, nope, no hits. Um, so that brings it around to Luckland's turn. Okay, I see it within range. Oh yeah. I do a shot to your shot. Uh, shot. Okay. Get some. Hold on, some work. Does it? 19? Yeah, that is. No. Stop. 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 And then I am my turn. Okay. Uh, Ventus? Thirty damage. And what's it look like when you kill him? <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna see all this stuff go. Since I got a nat one, I'm gonna say that I just crawl out of bed. I walk out. I'm rubbing my eye. I have a cup of coffee. I see everyone fighting, and I'm like, "Oh shit! Don't worry, I'll save you guys." And then I just pull out my wand and I just fucking kamehameha. <laughs> As dozens of little darts of magic missile hit it, pierce through its body, and it falls over dead. Okay. That is that. Hey guys, I think we're doing pretty good with one rounders. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bend down, pick, pluck some of the fat. Mm, pick some of the feathers. Yep. Just trophies. Yeah. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go and cut off one of its claws. Its skin could be uh, considered medium armor. Well, I can. Yeah, but think about the key. Oh, that's true. 
Well, I guess I'll also come up with skin. Too. Okay. So it might be good for me. Pig for armor and bird armor. Yeah, take a like take a piece of a beak and make a cut like some pauldrons out of it and stuff. Okay, so we'll move on. Okay, so as instructed, you head towards the mountains and and then into the moorland. About an hour into the moorland, you see a warforged colossus fused into the mountainside. It looms uh, it's about 80 feet above you. So this thing is huge. And I actually have this for you guys. I gotta find it. Oops. Oh, here we go. And there's a little entrance here in the leg. Sure, I'm not worried. You don't want to. I think you can handle a side quest. Alright, so you have to enter the uh, thing. It is locked, though. I could try anyways, but no, I don't. What was that? I said, what's your slide of hand? Plus four. I have plus five. Do you have anything to pick the lock with? Oh, my daggers. Alright, um. Roll a dex. See? No, not a dex. Save a dex. Already check. A slide of hand. Yeah. Baka, you're a cleric, right? Yeah. Do you have guidance? Uh, I do. Hey, how about you? How about you give me some encouraging words there, Father? <laughs> um, I don't usually condone this, but I, I, I expect you to. I have faith that you can get us through this tough situation. <coughs> Feel it. Yes. It's going to work. I feel something, not sure. Twelve. And the guidance. Fifteen. Okay. That's good enough. You uh, take one of your daggers and slip it in between the door frame and the uh, metal plating. There's the armor on the outside of the colossus. You slip it in and you hear a slight click as you raise your dagger up. Alright, so you enter in the Colossus and you have a ladder that climbs up to the hips. And then you can ascend from there up to the abdomen and then to the chest part. 
and in the chest part you see a barracks. There's some slight signs that someone has been living here. And let me get a perception check. Perception check from Hey everybody. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. That's good. Yeah. Um so Ventus, um, under one of the unused cots, you see a small metal orb with what looks like some glistening gems on the outside of it, sticking out of it. What is it? Just a small metal orb with some what looks like glistening gems sticking out of it. I walk over to it. You pick it up. Okay, so anybody want to figure out what this is? Hello? Anybody want to figure out what it is? Yeah. I'll try. Anybody got an identify spell or want to make a history check? Luckily you can do that with a... Uh, Advantage. Solid mm -hmm. 14. 14? Okay, so from your time in the service, uh, especially serving on the side of Seer, which you're currently in, um, you know that the Warforged Colossus were powered by um, some artificial intelligence that helps them run that is known as a docent. There's a small metal orb with, I believe, it is ever on Dragon Shard sitting out of it. So, this is the AI. There's usually lots of them in one of these things. Yeah, it's a small metal or metal spear about two inches across, but studded with dragon shards. However, only a warforged can use this. Yeah, I take Anzu out of the bag of holding. To attune to a docent, you must embed the items somewhere in your body, such as your chest or eye socket. Sentience. A docent is a sentient item of any alignment with an intelligence of 16, a wisdom of 14, and a charisma of 14. It perceives the world through your senses. It communicates telepathically with you. It can speak, read, and understand any languages it knows. There's a random properties thing at the bottom. Life support. Whenever you end your turn with zero hit points, the docent can make a wisdom medicine check with a plus six bonus. If the check succeeds, the docent stabilizes you. <coughs> the docent has the random following properties languages. The docent knows common, giant, and 1d4 languages chosen by the DM. If the docent knows fewer than six languages, it can learn any language after it hears it or reads the languages through your senses. The docent has a plus seven bonus to the following skills. Uh, roll a d4 for which ones? Arcana, history, investigation, or nature. The docent also knows one of the following spells that you can cast it at will, requiring no components. Roll a d6. Detect good and evil or detect magic. And the docent is designed to advise and assist the Warforged it's attached to 
or one of the symbol functions of the docent to serve as a translator. Docent's properties are under its control. And if you have a bad relationship with a docent, it might refuse to assist you. So, I'm just going to go ahead and roll a performance check to make this thing believe that I'm a Warforged, a.k.a. do the robot. <laughs> You you would have you would have to attune to it first. Uh, and to a, to attune to it, you're gonna have to um. Yeah, you're gonna have to either shove it in your eyeball or in your chest. Well, I'm about to pull some Terminator shit, y'all. <laughs> Performance really 19. Oh, uh, let's see. It has a wisdom of 14. You gotta replace your eyeball with this thing. Did you just hear all the stuff he said? Hell yeah, I'll replace an eyeball for that. No. Don't want Orika, don't miss Dur. I'm a robot, Dur. That's why I'm offering two free kids' will when you order ahead with the BK app. Nah. <laughs> I take a dagger and I start pointing it at my eye. It, it, it doesn't pass its um, uh, insight check. Well, yeah, no, it still wouldn't pass its insight check. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you could really take it from Anzu. Yeah. I just want to see what I would roll, <laughs> and uh, I do a really good work. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, so you guys can keep going up. And you guys want to keep going up? Well, I think since it's a barrack and we have an item for a person that's not even here, and I have to go, I think this might be a good place to end it. I'm not sure you guys want to keep going, but I do have to go. Mm. Unfortunately. Okay. I just got this job, harvesting weed, and I don't feel like yawning during my first couple days. Mm. Okay. They're gonna be like, he got into the product. I'm gonna be like, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, <laughs> my. Don't judge me. I have kids. <laughs> yeah, kid. Uh, luckily my wife was able to work from home for her job, so...